Hello. Welcome to our salon. How can I help you? You have an appointment to get your makeup done? Alright. Could you give me your name, please? Okay, here you are. Right on time. So, my name is Virginia, and I'm going to be your makeup artist today. Um, could you tell me why or what you came in to get your makeup done for? You're going to be in a wedding? Are you a bridesmaid? Okay, wow, that's great. Um, well, we're very honored that you came to us because this is definitely a very important occasion. So, um, what color, what color are your bridesmaid dresses? So blue. What shade of blue? Navy blue. Okay. Well, I do have, um, I have a lot of ideas that would go good with that. One is I could perhaps do um, some navy blue eyeliner, just a very thin line around your eyes and then some gray or silver eyeshadow on top of that. Okay? So you, you don't, that sounds good, you don't think the eyeliner will be too heavy? No, okay. Perfect. Okay, so. This is my box of supplies. Um, as you can see, I have, I do have a lot of things here. Um, I have it's all kind of jumbled together, but I have these cotton rounds for putting on foundation or taking off eye makeup. Um, I have this little kit. It's actually a little nail kit, but I do use um, these tweezers sometimes for makeup for eyebrows and things like that, so I keep this in here. I have this little mirror. You can see yourself. And um, it is magnified so you can see like close up and if you see any problems um, I can fix them for you. That's what this is for. Uh, we have foundation and powders. Um, lots of different types of mascaras for all different occasions. Um, eyeliners. This is a moisturizer I'm be using on you. Some concealers. Just all kinds of different things here. So, to get started, um, do you have any makeup on right now? No? Okay, that's good. Um, so we don't have to wash your face off. So. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this moisturizer. It's from Proactive. It's the green tea moisturizer. So it's really good for your skin. It's really, really light and really fresh. Um, and it's, it's not really very heavy, so it's a great thing to wear under makeup. And you, do you mind if I touch your face with my hands? Okay. There you go. Just gonna rub this all over your face. Get your chin and your nose, forehead. Okay. Right. Does that feel like it's really rubbed in? Okay, good. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I notice that, uh, do you get your eyebrows waxed or plucked? You do, you get them plucked. Um, when was the last time you did that? A few weeks ago. Okay. There's just a few little, little stray hairs growing in, so do you mind if I get to pluck those for you? Okay. Good. Okay. Well, 
with it. So, I do have some foundation, but from the looks of it, your skin is pretty clear and pretty even, so I don't really think it will be necessary. Um, I do have a lot of powders that I think would work just as well, so how do you feel about that? Okay, you agree? That's good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the foundation instead of putting it over your whole face. I'm just going to put it under your eyes because I notice that you do have some dark circles under your eyes and I get those too. Um, so I'm just going to use this foundation as kind of a concealer to cover up those circles. So, cute. On there, and I'm going to just rub it right under your eyes. Side. Up. Looks good. Now I'm going to cover that up with the powder that should fill everything in nicely. So I do have a couple different shades of powder. You look like you are a pretty fair fair skin so they're both fair colors but I just wanted to compare and see which one that matches best. This is called Classic Ivory and this one's called Translucent Light so this one is a lot lighter so I'm just going to hold these up and compare. Okay, I think the Translucent Light is going to match your skin the best. going to take a little bit on the brush. Tap it off. Get too much. Okay. Now I'm just going to brush this all over your face. So the next thing that I have um, is some blush. I think I'm going to do a pretty light, pretty natural shade of blush because you don't want it to conflict with um, with your eye makeup since it's going to be very dark. So this is just a pretty natural shade. So I'm going to have a little bit on your cheekbone. Could you smile for me so that your apples pop out? Thank you. Right cheek. Left cheek looks beautiful. Okay. So, we've got your face covered. Um, I'm just going to take this stick right here and fill in your eyebrows a little bit because you do have very light hair. So, your eyebrows a lot of times will be very light and um, it helps to fill them in because they create a real frame for your face and just makes your whole look stand out more. So I'm going to just do this real quick. Your right, left. Okay. All right. Next, now we're going to start on your eyes. Um, and let me find that maybe. Here we go. This is an Avon Glimmer Sticks eyeliner, and it is navy blue. The color is technically called Twilight Sparkle, but it's very pretty. See, very shimmery blue. So, I'm just going to line your top and bottom lashes with this, just a very thin line, nothing too thick, because we don't want to have too much eyeliner, just enough that it creates a little pop around your eyes. So, turn on your left eye. Bottom lashes. Alright, could you close your eyes? You can do the top. 
right, left eye, open and look up, bottom, now close, take me your top, okay, looks good, you can take this Q-tip, a little bit of smudge on your right eye, let me kiss, that up, okay, perfect. So to go on top of that, you have a couple of choices. You have okay, so we have this really, really dark gray color on the end here, or this kind of medium silver gray color this very light shimmer, almost kind of white. So which one do you like the best to go over your eyeliner? you like the, the medium gray here? Okay. Could you close your eyes for me? Put them on your right eye. And other eye. Alright, looks great. Just want to do a little bit because we want the main attraction to be the blue. And when we cover it up, just kind of add to it. Alright, and so I have a couple different choices of mascara for you. So we have, this is from CoverGirl, it is the Lash Blast Fusion, and it's really good for doing really thick lashes. This is Great Lash from Maybelline, lots of lashes, and you'll see, it's a, it is a lighter color, it's a brown, and the brush is very, is tapered at the end, so it's really good for catching those little tiny lashes on the inside and outer corner of your eyes and for doing the bottom lashes. And the last one I have, this is Estee Lauder um, Double Wear, and it actually comes with a primer at one end. So you put this, this white primer on your lashes and then cover it up with the mascara, and it just, having the two different layers makes them really, really long and really dramatic. So which one sounds the most appealing to you? The Double Wear? Okay. It is a wedding, so it is very dramatic. Um, right? So look, could you do kind of sleepy eyes for me, like kind of half-closed eyes? Perfect. So, I'm going to put the primer on your left eye. Your right eye. And I'm not going to put the primer on the bottom lashes because you don't want the bottom lashes to be too thick. Look kind of scared. Alright. Should we do the sleepy eyes again? This is the mascara on your left eye. And your right eye. Alright, I'm going to do your bottom lashes. So, could you look up for me, please? Left eye. Right eye. Okay. Alright, so the only thing left is your lip color, and since you're eyes have that dark navy and all of that sparkle, I think maybe a light um, lip color would be nice. So, 
I have a lip stain, CoverGirl Outlast lip stain. It's really light. Or I have this um, Clinique lipstick in Precious Pink. It's also very light. So which one, which idea do you like better? The lip stain? Yeah, this stuff is really good. It's kind of funny because it kind of looks like a marker at the end, like your color and then your lips with a sharpie. So if you could just, um, just keep your mouth just normal, just relaxed, maybe open slightly. Okay. So I'm going to do your bottom lip. And your top lip. And around the whole thing a couple times. Alright, now if you could just smack your lip, make sure it's all spread around. Alright, and you are done. So I'm going to let you look at yourself in this mirror and tell me if you see anything wrong or anything that you'd like me to fix. No? Okay, great. Well, you're done. So, thank you very much for coming in today, and I hope that the wedding goes well, and I just hope that you really enjoy yourself, because it is a very special time. So, um, have a great day, and I hope that you'll come back and see us again. Bye.